Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. The today argument is the Kamov 50 or 52 Russian attack helicopter. And I have a question for you. Is it the best attack helicopter in the world? And if yes, why? Well, for me, the answer of course is yes. If you checked my previous top 10 attack helicopters, you notice that in the first position you can find this helicopter. But is it really the best? For me, the answer is yes, and now I would like to explain you why for me is the best. Of course, you don't have to agree with me, and if you don't, after watching the video, please let me know why you don't agree with me and where I'm wrong. So, uh, I think we can start checking the overall informations we have about this helicopter and check together the pros and cons of this design. In this video, we will take into consideration the Kamov 52. The main difference between the Kamov 52 and the Kamov 50 is the pilot number. The Kamov 52 has two pilots sit side by side, while the Kamov 50 is just one pilot. In this case, I choose the Kamov 52 because for me two pilots is a better choice. While the first one controls the helicopter, the second one is the gunner, so he controls the weapons. So each one has just one task to perform and can achieve a better result. Moreover, this is the only attack helicopter where the two pilots are not sitting tandem, like any other attack helicopter, but in this case they are sitting side by side, so both of them can have the same visual, the same controls, so for me we already have a reason to prefer this attack helicopter to the others, but let's continue. As we can see, it's being produced from 1990, so it's actually a very new helicopter compared to many of the other choices we have in this moment. If you want to know the other attack helicopters, you can check my attack helicopter top 10 that you can find in the right top corner or in the description of the video. And it has a cost of only 20 million dollars. I know it's a lot of money, but actually it's also quite cheap considering uh, the average price of an attack helicopter. In fact, if we want to consider another very famous attack helicopter, the Apache from United States, it cost 36 million dollars, so almost the double. Then we can find many more informations about the weight, engine power, speed, the range. They are of course very important informations, but in this case not so important for our point of view, for our discussion. Of course they are overall at the same level or even higher than other attack helicopter, so the Camo has very good performance in uh, this case, but they are not the main reason about why this helicopter is the best. So for now I would like to go on and check the real important part. And here we start with the first of the two main reasons about why this helicopter is the best one for me. Let's start checking the protections. As we can see it's armored to withstand caliber 23mm rounds and up until here is actually a never age situation. Other attack helicopters have the same level of protections, but then we start with something incredible. The first one is the coaxial rotor. What does it mean? The coaxial rotor, it means that this helicopter is the only one without a tail rotor. Usually the helicopters have two rotors, one on the top that is the main rotor needed to lift the helicopter and a smaller rotor on the back on the tail that it's needed for counter rotation. Now if you want to understand how it works is a little difficult to explain but I made a dedicated video that explains how an helicopter works, also that one you can find in the right top corner or description of the video, but keep in mind that the smaller rotor on the tail is a problem for the attack helicopters, for many reasons. The first one is because without that little rotor the helicopter can't fly. It starts rotating on itself and go down. You can understand that can be a target for the enemy. Just damaging this little rotor can cause the helicopter to fall down. Another problem with this little rotor is that it's very noisy. Maybe it can sound strange, but the smaller rotor makes more noise than the bigger one. This depends on how the sound waves work. You have just to know that the smaller rotor is more noisy and of course uh, makes the helicopter more detectable. In fact, some helicopters like the Apache, they have a double back rotor just to decrease this noise. Also that part is uh, better explained in my dedicated video on how helicopters work. Not only that, but a single coaxial rotor, even if it's more complex to produce, after it is easier to maintain, of course less noisy, and you can achieve even better performance with it. So it's overall a huge pros. Another interesting thing that we can notice are the ejector seats. 
Yes, this helicopter has ejector seats just like the aircraft. It's the only one and actually this is just thanks to the coaxial rotor we were speaking about a few seconds ago. In fact, in case of problems, the blades of the main rotor disconnect from the main body, so there are no blades anymore. And thanks to the ejector seats, the pilots can escape from the helicopter folding. And this is actually, I think, one of the best reasons to love this helicopter, because the pilots, the most important part of the helicopter, are safer. Something that you can't do with any of the other helicopters. Then we can find also a huge amount of electronics like uh, radar warning receiver, radar interferometer, missile warning receivers, jammers, flare chaff dispensers and even a bulletproof glass up to 7.62 mm that you don't have to underestimate because other helicopters also if they are attack helicopters and they have actually to engage enemies on the battlefield they don't have it. I know it's strange, attack helicopters usually don't have bulletproof glass. Of course, for me it's important, also if I can understand why they don't use bulletproof glass, the helicopters usually fly, so it's more difficult to hit the pilots from the windows. But it actually happened in the past, uh, an Apache pilot was hit by a simple rifle. Of course it's very rare, so I can understand that they prefer to save money uh, without it. But still, for me, if you want to consider why this is the best attack helicopter, it's something you have to consider. Then we have to consider the avionics. Also here we have some pros that others don't have. For example, the target tracker for air and land. Usually only the Russian attack helicopters have it, so they can engage both land and air targets. Attack helicopters, for example, I use the Apache because it's the most famous, but it's the same for also others attack helicopter. They can engage only land targets without dedicated missiles that are not usually installed. So if the mission requires the anti-air capability, they can install two of these missiles to engage air targets, but usually they can't target at them. While for uh, the Russian attack helicopters, like this one, they can engage with any weapon, also the air targets. So you can use the same anti-tank guided missile also to engage air targets, for example other helicopters. Same for the main gun. And also here I think is a huge uh, pros for this helicopter because it's more versatile and can engage more kind of targets. Then we can find many other uh, important avionics that are like the third generation FLIR or the Autonic image processing, a white best automatic warning system that automatically engage the enemy triads. But also in this case we have to notice the main important that are for example the ASA radar, the most powerful radar among the helicopters. Usually because all the other attack helicopters have a little radar, they are called the MUST. This radar of course are smaller because they have to be mounted on the top of the main rotor. This helicopter has the radar on the nose, just like the aircraft. And actually, if you check the images, it really seems an aircraft radar. And not only for the dimension, but it's actually really powerful. Almost like a real aircraft radar. In this case, the name of the radar of this helicopter is the Arbalet E radar. And we can conclude this part of the discussion with the Zanet UAV control, something that actually also the Apache have, the UAV control, and something that we can mention because it's a good feature, especially for the future where the UAVs will be uh, adopted more, more and more. And now we can uh, finally start with the second and the last main reason because this helicopter is the best one in the world, for me at least. And we are speaking about the armament. The KEA-52 has the best armament among all the attack helicopters. But let's check the armament one by one. Maybe we can start with the guns. Uh, we have one 30mm cannon mounted on the side of the helicopter. The cannon is on the side of the helicopter, so it is rigid, can't rotate. Usually the other attack helicopters have a rotating main cannon, so while the helicopter, for example, goes forward, you can fire on your side just rotating the turret. So maybe this is the only problem that we can find with uh, the Kamov cannon. Also, if we have to consider that this helicopter is not intended for the close combat, so it's very rare it used the main cannon, you have to think about this Kamov as a commander and the Mi-I-28, the Havoc, as the soldier. So you have 
few commanders and many soldiers. So while the soldiers go very close to the enemy and use the cannons and similar, so they are also more armored than this one, uh, this helicopter stay away from the enemy and attack from distance. In fact, we will very soon see that the weapons of this helicopter have a huge range, something that any of the other helicopters have. So as we said we have this main cannon that can't rotate but just because of this is more stable because it's fixed on the main fuselage and it has a better range and an higher precision than other cannons. So also in this case if you check the point of view that this helicopter usually uh, attacks on the distance it's not so bad because from the distance you need more the precision than the rotating feature of the gun moreover if we need we can also add other four 23 mm gun in the pods under the wings but usually they are not so much adopted because under the wings you have rockets and missiles. Interesting, this helicopter has the highest payload among the attack helicopters. So while usually the other attack helicopters have four pylons and maybe the space on the sides of the wing for anti-air missiles, this one has six of them, so more pylons, more the space on the sides. For the weapons we can notice we have rockets, so we can have four pods of 20 AH 80mm S8 rockets or four pods of five 122mm S13 rockets. They are powerful? Yes, they are. The most powerful? Actually, yes. The only problem here is just the range. They have a lower range than the Hydra rockets, adopted, for example, by the Apache. Among the rockets, I think the Apache still has the best rockets available in this moment. And finally, we start with the main point, the missiles. We have a huge amount of missiles that can afford any kind of mission, any kind of targets, this helicopter can engage even ships, and not little ships, I mean real ships, even frigates for example. It can have a mix of, for example, we can have two pods with six uh, attack v ATGM, ATGM stands for anti-tank guided missiles, so they are for uh, ground targets. These anti-tank guided missiles uh, have a range of 10,000 meters that actually is higher than the other anti-tank guided missiles adopted by other helicopters that usually have a range of 8,000 meters. Then it has Aigla 1 v AAM. AAM stands for anti-air missiles, so they are adopted to engage air targets. The same for the R-73 Vimpel. And then we have, as you can see, the KH family of uh, missiles, the KH-25, 35, 31, 38. These missiles are air to ground missiles and they are adopted usually for uh, bunker, for ships or maybe anti-air weapons. They have huge ranges, they can be adopted while the helicopter stay at a safe distance from the target. So for example, if you have uh, anti-air weapons or maybe ships that they are quite dangerous for the little helicopter, you want to hit them from a high distance before they can hit you. And as we said before, the ranges are huge. We have 60,000 meters, 300,000 meters, 120,000 meters and so on. And for the some of you that maybe don't know the average armament of an attack helicopter, I can show you now, for example, the Apache uh, armament that is the most famous attack helicopter so I think is the best one to use in uh, this case. As you can see this is the main armament of the standard attack helicopter. We have the gun, rockets and the missiles. As you can see the main gun is uh, still at 30mm. This one can rotate but it has a lower range just because of what we said before. The rockets in this case have the good range and better precision. And the missiles, we have only anti-tank guided missiles and anti-air missiles with the ranges that are only, I know it's a lot, but compared to the Camo 52, they are only 8,000 meters. And from here, I hope it's more clear why I said that the Camo is the best attack helicopter. As you can see, the weapons are on a totally different level for both the number of them, the category of them, because they can engage more kind of targets, and for the ranges. It is really a monster. And with uh, this last point, we can conclude the considerations about this attack helicopter. I explained 
the why for me uh, the camo 52 is the best attack helicopter a uh, very fast recap in the first part we have noticed how even the pilots position is a better choice for me because side by side they can both have the same view the same controls and they can uh, cooperate better in the second part we noticed how the protections are on a better level and with protections I mean also the design of the helicopter without the tail rotor but a single coaxial rotor or the ejection seats or for example the capability of engaging both land and air targets with all the weapons not only with dedicated missiles and in the third and the last part the armament how many weapons it can have they can afford more tasks engaging more kind of targets and they also have a Niger range. I don't know what else I have to say. It's overall above the others. And this is where I want to know your opinion. If you don't agree with me, why not? And which one is for you the best attack helicopter? And of course, please let me know why. Of course, keep in mind that this is a discussion about the quality of the machine and not the quantity. So if you have 1000 Apache against one of these helicopters, of course the Apache will win in any case because the number is much higher. But in this case, I would like you to take in consideration one Apache, one Mi-28. We have many attack helicopters. If you want to have an overall look about all of them together, so checking the specifications of uh, any single helicopter, you can check the top 10 where there are all of them together. Say so that I remind you to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video, it's always appreciated, to share the video with others, to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next week on Saturday with another official video. Bye!